As a designer, one of the most overwhelming things we experience is trying to learn all of the tools that Adobe Illustrator has to offer. But what if I told you it doesn't have to be that way? What if I told you that you only need to learn 20% of them in order to create high quality, professional and standout logos? In this video, I'm going to share my six essential Adobe Illustrator tools that I use when designing logos for clients. Up first is the pencil tool, which is one of the best ways to customize letters in order to make the logo unique to the business. And this tool can be used on a stroked or filled path, making it a very versatile tool. So let's use this R as an example and use the pencil tool to adjust the path. So simply click and drag your mouse with the pencil tool over the original path. And then once finished, end back on that path, let go of your mouse and the letter will transform. Now you can keep adjusting the path with the pencil tool to the desired style and create something completely custom for the client. Now a little tip here is to double click on the pencil tool to bring up the settings and then make sure that this checkbox is ticked right here because otherwise you won't be able to adjust that original path, meaning you can't create custom letters. Next is the eraser tool, which is used to get rid of unwanted paths, perfect for when you're customizing individual letters. So for this logo type, I needed to connect the R and S together, which meant removing unwanted paths of that original letter. Now you may be using the eraser tool like this. You grab the tool, click and drag with your mouse and you've erased the path. But when you're dealing with typography, accuracy and precision is key. And that's where this secret little trick comes in super handy. So I'm gonna show you this trick with the letter R and I need to remove the shoulder and just leave the stem. So when using the eraser tool, click and drag with your mouse, but also hold down the option or alt key on your keyboard. And you'll notice that the eraser will turn from a circle into a rectangle, meaning you get greater precision. This is such a great trick to know if you're looking for more accuracy when using that eraser tool. This actually sets me up perfectly for the next tool, which is the width tool. This allows you to create variable width strokes in just one click. Now using this tool allows you to adjust stroke segments that can be thickened to create a calligraphic look or to add different thicknesses into your typography or illustrations. So I'll show you exactly how I combined these two letters together by using this exact tool. So select the pencil tool to create a stroke path, then grab the width tool and just simply click on your path and drag your mouse in or out to create your desired effect. Now, once you've got the correct width, just head over to object, path, outline stroke, and then you can adjust the shape from here with the pencil tool as shown at the start. Now the width tool will only work with a stroked path and not a filled shape, so keep that in mind when using the tool. Also, a sneaky little handy tip here is if you adjust the cap, this will also alter the look, creating some really cool stroked effects just like this. Another great tool you can use when it comes to creating brands is Envato Elements, who are sponsoring today's video. They have thousands of fonts, mockups, and graphics that you can use within your next project. Click the first link in the description to grab your seven day free trial. Up next is the curvature tool. And I describe this tool of a mixture of the pen tool and the direct selection tool, where you can adjust anchor points and make a curved path really easily with just one click. Now the great thing about this tool is that it can be used on a stroked path and a filled path, which makes it a really great tool when designing logos. So this tool in particular was used to create all of the abstract shapes within this brand identity and also used on this particular logo mark. So to use the tool, simply grab the curvature tool and when you click, it will create a new anchor point. But unlike the pen tool, which creates shape lines every time that you click, the curvature tool, you guessed it, creates those curved lines. So once you've created a new anchor point, you can click on this and then move it to your desired position to adjust the curve. I actually find myself choosing this tool more often than the pen tool because it creates curves so easily. Up next is the shape builder tool. Now this allows you to merge and subtract shapes quickly. It can be used for any overlapping elements that you want to remove or shapes that you need to combine. Now in this instance, it was used to subtract the R from the shape to create a compound path. 
Now there's actually three things to remember when using this tool. Firstly, you must select the shapes that you want to use, otherwise the tool won't work. Next, if you wanna combine shapes together, simply grab the tool, click and drag your mouse, and once done, the parts will merge into one. You'll notice that there's a plus symbol by the tool, which means you're combining the parts together. Next, if you want to remove or subtract parts, simply press Option or Alt on the keyboard, and you'll notice that the plus symbol changes to a minus. Now this just means that any part that you select with this tool it will be subtracted. And that's exactly how I use the Shape Builder tool to create this logo mark. Now, the great thing about this now is that the shape is a compound path, which means I can just easily change the color. Now, this tool only works with overlapping shapes that can either be stroked or filled paths. Last but not least is the Type on Path tool. Now, this tool allows you to type on any shape path, which is great if you've got a certain shape you need text to fit around, just like the Submart logo. So to do this, simply Simply create a shape. Now for this example, the text needs to fit inside this abstract shape. So I'll select the rectangle tool and just adjust the anchor points to create a curved path. Then grab the type on a path tool, click on the path and then type out your desired text. And as I type it out, you'll notice it will follow around the shape of the path. Now to get the text to line up perfectly around this shape, just simply drag the brackets along the path, which will allow you to move your text to your desired position. A really handy tip here is that you can actually change the way that your text sits on that path. So to do this, head to type, type on a path and then options, and you can change the baseline here. So if I change it to center, you'll notice that the text now sits on the center of the path instead of the baseline, meaning that it's more centered within my shape. Now these six essential tools were used to create this entire logo suite for my client, but this wouldn't be possible if you don't know the fundamentals of logo design. And that's why you need to watch this video right here where I reveal the secrets to creating better logos.